Hey everybody, Nacelle just got coming to you guys with part 17 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. So, um, you know what? Since I said we'd do it in the last episode and we never did, let's just go and get Harbor Speedway out of the picture. It's essentially free gems, we don't have to pay money back, squat the diddly P here. And yeah. And we don't need to hear anything. Yeah, let's see what I mean. This speedway is clearly clearly the least interesting and like the original the blue footed boobies first of all they don't actually have their blue feet so i guess they're not blue footed boobies they're a different kind of booby but they don't they're not different colors that they were like that in the original by the way they they didn't actually have multiple colors or one of the few i think it was actually the only race in the original that actually didn't have uh, multicolored enemies, or I guess, like, opponents. They're not really enemies. Wait, didn't we have a missile? I missed the freaking ring, man. Well, that's a first. Actually, no, this is technically supposed to be the hardest, because this one has the most, like, stuff going on in it. Apparently I didn't get that missile, so I'm just going to ignore it. That way I can get to this a little bit quicker. I think I like this weird section right here, which... There's not a lot of rings, but there's a lot of stars to fly through. Yay, I'm technically further ahead somehow, because last time I was 6th place. Whoa, game, why did you, like nosedive me so what is going on like what is the camera doing i was having a hard time recovering from whatever weird incident i had there there we go we kind of just cut in front of him one thing about this race is though the uh, other races are actually like really close by like they, they they don't really they're not very spread out is what i'm trying to get at I don't know what Spyro's obsession with speed is. I get that it's supposed to be able to be an area where Spyro can fly. But it doesn't really fly here. Also, it's weird that like the higher-ups don't take half of these speed boosts. Like, look at that. This is first place right here, and we're already right behind him. The last place guys actually take more uh, boosts and stuff than... The, the first, like, three people guy Three people guys? The three people do. Three birds do? I don't call them people. They're clearly birds. There's no people in the... Actually, no, there are people in the Spyro universe. Clearly, we've dealt with humans a few times before. Oh, okay, yeah, so you went out of your way to grab that one. I'm gonna be, like, hovering around this guy for a while, aren't I? Hopefully, we can somehow cut him off in the near future. Oh yeah, he doesn't take these ones for whatever reason. Whoa. That was janky and kind of nerve-wracking, but we did it. We got in front of him. Your best bet if you can't hit speed boost is to cut as many corners as humanly possible. Get as narrow as possible. I hear one taking speed boosts in the background, so I'm... I'm unsure of who that is. I don't want to risk that one yet. We should stay in first place and get our egg, which is good. There we go, we got our egg. Yay, it's Jesse and... Let me guess, the other one's going to be James here? And now we'll do the time attack. Why would you do that, Spyro? Like, or Why would you do that game, I should say? Yeah, another thing is, these were in the original too, they're just that boring, and I clipped my head off of it, that hurt. Like, yowzers, man. Sheesh. Ew. Why do they make weird sounds like... Like, they sound so weird. Wait, are you serious, game? Can you stop that? Now there's fish on little racer thingies. Oh, they're shells! 
Whoa, that was... That was janky, man. You guys do not look like blue-footed boobies, by the way. How do we miss that arch? How the heck did we miss an arch? Weird. This level's just all kinds of weird, man, but we did it. Now let's go and grab our egg. Kobe? That's not like, at all who I was expecting. I was expecting James. Now, I believe Hunter's actually in the uh, lighthouse. Except I don't actually remember what's challenge. Wait a second. Are these double rings? No, there's just two of them to each one. That's weird. I didn't know that. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with them as long as I can make it through those rings. I'm gonna chase him down. All right, let's right hurry back. up. Oh yeah, it's just one of these. It's kind of like the very first Hunter mini game from Spyro 2 when you were in Ocean Speedway. Actually, it was like 90% of them in that game. This one can actually be pretty difficult though, because you get kind of close, which makes it so if it just jerks over to a, a direction ever so slightly, you could technically mess up. Your best bet is to try and stay directly behind it at all times if you can. I don't know why it would be flying through its exhaust though. Wouldn't that just make us sick? All that monoxide and dioxide and other chemicals that come out of a vehicle. We don't know what a UFO is pooping out. I guess that could be pure oxygen for all we know. If we could just create vehicles that emit oxygen, we'd be so much better off. And Oh god. We ended up so far behind because we physically got stuck. Where do these flying sheep Wait, what? How do we lose? What? We flew into the ring. We got stuck on the stupid wooden peg on that bridge, and that caused us to lose. Oh my lord. My god, man, that's so annoying. Well, I guess we'll just keep flying through these rings. With the greatest of ease. Difficult PS2 gameplay, though, was like flying through rings. One thing I'll admit is Spyro never had a typical PS2 trope, and that was the whole sewer level thing. Now, when you played a lot of licensed games that had to come up with random levels that, you know, had nothing to do with the game, a lot of the time they had uh, sewer levels. And sewer levels are just not very good for the game. Why do I always get stuck on that one stupid pole? Oh, I missed that one. Where do these fly? I'm gonna. I'll be the right game is trolling me now. The game is just purely trolling me. Oh, why does he get stuck there? They made the hitboxes on this game so much bigger than they were in the original, which makes certain mini games in this game just tedious to do. Well, as we've seen, there's been a lot of random invisible walls throughout the game that shouldn't really be where they are. And that happens when you don't polish a game enough. You don't have enough testing. And while I love the Spyro games with a passion, including the remakes, they are, in my opinion, less enjoyable than the originals. Like, yeah, they're easier on the eyes, and the resolution's better and everything. But, like, let's be real here. It's kind of, um... It's kind of... Like... Awkward to play sometimes. So that's like my biggest complaint. Oh, and here's the end. Yeah, we made it to the end every single time. Woo, yes! That was close. The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed. No, it didn't. And thank you for Sarah, but it did not pop out. There was no egg. And I would like to do none of them, thank you very much. Yum. Now, I think, technically speaking, Dino Mines is the quicker level. 
since that took a little longer than anticipated, I think we'll go to Dino Mines next and go and deal with that, maybe. So let's go there. Plus, it's also right next door to us. So let's go to Dino Mines, which is actually a pretty cool Western themed level with a lot of stuff going on. And I don't think we have to pay money bags anymore. I forgot that he was in the Crystal Islands, but yeah. So, I believe there's actually two skill points here, right? Uh, hit the secret dino and hit all seahorses. So, first things first, if you want the achievement, you have to go over here. And, it's to get to Dan the Egg. That Dan in a western level? I wonder if that's Dirt Dan. The music here is pretty catchy, and I guess the background for this level is fine. But like, they didn't even add like water or anything to the environment. Yeah, these guys, you gotta be careful, because they they can attack very quickly. Once those guns are in their hands, they will shoot you. Also, unlike Spyro 2, the cacti actually produce gems. God darn Mexican bandit dinosaurs. Kinda scary if you think about it, they're terrifying. Can we open up this door? These buildings are huge, despite the residents being rabbits, and you'll see what I mean. There it is. That's who lives here. Why are the buildings so big? Well, gosh darn it, Spyro. I came in here to check on my prisoner only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them routed dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble and there's not a thing I can do about it. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're a tiny little rabbit. Also, who's on the wanted poster? Do you guys want to arrest Sergeant Bird? And Bentley? Wait, wh why are we helping you guys? Wait, you're rabbits. You probably worked for Bianca, right? Before she knew that she was in the wrong? Yeah, with these enemies, like I said, you just have to kind of bum rush them. Otherwise, you're going to take damage. They're brutal. Not so much to the TNT guys, they're kind of like the uh, easy mode dinosaur of the game, but still. Also, I love gems that Sparks just refuses to pick up. Oh, there's also a gem in there with them. Interesting. I wonder how we get in there then. Eh, I guess we'll never figure out. Oh, my control is having a stroke again. I can tell by the audio cutting in and out. Yeah, my movement gets a little stiff when that happens. I don't know what it is. Far Pony games later, I'm gonna have to, uh... Oh yeah, watch out for the minigun guy over here. But they're annoying, too. I'm gonna have to change my controller before I decide to play any games for myself. Any dinosaurs over here? Yes. Sir, more gunslingers. Die, gunslingers. You have vile cretin. Oh god, controller, please stop having a stroke, man. You're making recording things very difficult recently, and playing games recently recently in general, but So the seahorses we have to kill are actually these guys. And you're probably thinking, well they drop gems, so why wouldn't you kill them all? Well, not What is going on here? How many of them can hit me in a row? Why do you get no invincibility frames with these enemies? Sheesh. Oh, at least there's an egg in here. I wonder if that'll save the ones that we killed. I don't know. Anyways, let's grab it. It's Romy. What a weird name. Romy. Sucking on a soother. Wait, is that the first one that had an actual soother? Weird. Why weren't why did they use that one a little more? I'm still disappointed the one in Frozen Altars wasn't in its sheep outfit. They ruined so many personalities of the baby dragons in this game, it's just straight up unforgivable. Also, not having sparks is unforgivable, man. This is brutal. I love how we're never really allowed to get over 6,000 gems without the game being like, you know what, you have to pay money bags a bajillion dollars. So, sorry, but you're gonna be broke again. It's like real life, man. What are money bags is to teach kids that, you know, money comes and goes. Oh, I missed them. Hi. Any more of those seahorses around here? I think those are the seahorses, despite them 
not really looking like seahorses. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they're seahorses. I gotta watch out for all the random TNT that somehow explode underwater despite not being lit. Wait. Man, these enemies, they're just everywhere. I didn't even get time to get health before an enemy just randomly shows his face. I also apologize for all the barking, but I'm pretty sure those are the neighbor dogs this time, not even our dogs. Uh oh, we're gonna die if that gunslinger pulls out his gun again. Kinda don't wanna die. At least we have Zoe, and we're pretty much at the end of the level anyway. Like I said, this level isn't very long. It just has a few sections to it of, like, different kind of stuff to do. Is this little crab back yet? No, he's not back yet. Of course he's not. I don't want to die, but here goes nothing. Okay, we killed him. Sounds morbid, but we had to kill him. Any more dinosaurs up here? Actually, I don't think there are any more dinosaurs. And kaboom! We made it into the prison cell. Here you go, bunny rabbit man. Well, I'll be, so that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the runt of the litter, though. Well, it's not a dinosaur, it's Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Goodbye. Jump in, Jehoshaphat. That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. Well, I guess technically dragons are kind of like dinosaurs. I wonder if there were dinosaurs around at some point, and that's where we got the idea of dragons from. Now. Jesus Christ. I really apologize if you guys can hear the neighbor's dogs. Because they're going ape out there. It's actually ridiculous how much they're letting them bark like that. They always do that. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine shaft. <laughs> I'd get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. Also, apparently you can't breathe underwater like we do, so... Yeah, so now... Yeah, don't do what I just did and forget that the controls are completely inverted. And very jarring, actually. Wait, where are the rest of the, uh... Oh yeah, you gotta kill these guys. Despite them not dropping gems, you do have to kill them. I don't think they respawn in here, though. Ooh. Ow. Luckily, you don't take damage. See, your controls don't work properly until you get to that section right there. And then they reactivate. I think because they, they're supposed to line you up in the middle, but... Okay, no, the enemies look like they don't respawn. Which is good news. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Man, this is actually a pretty dangerous mine shaft if you think about it. And there's the skill point. Nice. That was some mighty fine swimming, young dragon. And that's it. You just get, gonna give me Elliot Moose? Is on the loose? All right then. Thanks, buddy. Now the rest of the level is actually Agent Nine. Which is right here. The sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. And that's it. Oh. If you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I could tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to go in there and flush them out. That's that's all darn tootin'. Well good luck to you. I don't know why we didn't get more levels like this. This is just freaking hilarious. Death to dinosaurs! Fun fact is, you can actually destroy the windows, too. That's why I always thought it was funny that Spyro couldn't. Yeah, and it's an auto-scroller, so... Yeah, I don't, don't think you can just do whatever you want. Not until you beat the actual challenge. 
And there actually are two eggs here, but one of them isn't actually tied in with the challenge. I love how we're after the Bailey gang. Whoever the Bailey gang is. You see them bouncing off of the floor despite not actually being... Like, aiming at the physical floor. Wow, that one got killed by uh, a deflection. That guy threw a TNT before I was even able to react. No fair, you were... You were behind that drag or that other dinosaur, man. There we go, we got the secret dino though. Funny, all windows here can be broken. Despite not actually, you know, necessarily doing anything. You just gotta kill them before they get to their position, because once they get to their position, they're like bound to actually do damage to you. Wait, wait, we hit that one up there, and it just straight up just didn't do anything. But, okay, game. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's it. I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. Probably the sorceress, Sharon Stone. Now, I don't... I, re I always thought the other skill point here was to destroy the uh, windows, but no. The last one's in Haunted uh, Tomb. And it's a really easy one that you'd probably get just out of just playing naturally. But yeah, a lot of the windows in this will actually have gems in them. And if you notice, there were a lot of gems left before we came to this level, or uh, this part of the level. Also, if a gem, or if a thing's up there, you don't actually have to jump up there. Uh, however, shooting it may be the issue, but it'll fly down like that. Yeah, see, my controller is, like, really, really bad at turning. And I can hear it crackling again, so... Uh, stupid controller. I gotta switch back to my red one, I guess. I don't know what's going on with this, but it's just really, really, really awkward to play anything. And I'm pretty sure the other egg is in here if it lets me jump up. Sheesh, game. Yep, and here's the final egg, which is Sergio. Thank you for the egg. It's 140. There's, what, 151, I think, in the game? Jeez. Let me jump up, game. Talk about rude. Yeah, like I said, this level's actually really cool. Like, there's a lot of cool gimmicks and ideas behind it. I just wish they would have, you know... Did more levels like this instead of the ones that we got. Because this is a genuinely fun level. I personally had a blast playing this. I always have. We're missing seven gems, huh? Yeah, luckily, sparks can track in this level. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. There it is. And that's the level 100% complete. Right on. So now we can just exit the area and beat the level. So, yeah, this episode was only, like, 24 minutes tops. And that's including some mess-ups, too. Man. Like I said, this level's really cool, but I liked a lot of the desert levels in Spiral 1, and it's kind of reminiscent of that with its own twist on things, which I think is cool. So let's grab some health before we leave. Thank you. And now we can leave with all our gems. This time, money bags didn't take a single dime. Right? Yay. 6100 gems so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications join the discord and patreon in the links below and i will see you guys all next time with i think we have actually we could probably do the final boss or not the final boss the boss and the final level in the in one episode and then do the entire bonus world in one so i think we only have oh wait no we have the sparks level so maybe three episodes left Anyways, join the Patreon Discord links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like, too. Bye. Guys, bye. Jeez, I'm dumb sometimes.